Bitch, the Jacqueline Cosmetics tea is piping hot tonight. Everything is piping hot with you. It's always piping hot. Is it ever tepid or lukewarm or cool or even hot, but piping hot? Not today. The tea is boiling. Hey guys, welcome to Mango Tea and thank you so much for joining me today. If you are new here, my name is Steven Mango and I'm a drama channel that spills the tea on beauty drama and the beauty community. So before we begin here, please make sure to go down below and hit that subscribe button as well as turn on your bell notification so you stay posted on all of the hottest tea on YouTube. Also, if you haven't seen my last Jaclyn Cosmetics video, it's called Attorney Reveals Major Legal Issues with Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics. I highly recommend watching it. My husband, Jeff, an attorney, breaks down the legal implications of Jaclyn Cosmetics. I will link it down in the description box below if you want to check it out. Bitch, the tea doesn't stop spilling here about Jaclyn Hill and Jaclyn Cosmetics. The truth is quickly coming to the surface and Jaclyn's lies are being exposed left and right. Today, we are going to be showing you the possible proof that Jaclyn Cosmetics is owned by or has close direct ties to Morphe. Also, I'm going to be discussing with you what will happen if Jaclyn Cosmetics folds and files bankruptcy. So without further ado, let's get started here and right on into the drama. So today, I looked up Jaclyn Cosmetics with the Better Business Bureau. Interestingly enough, right at the top of the listing for Jaclyn Cosmetics, a gray box appears that says, Pattern of Complaints. BBB has received a pattern of complaints concerning the quality of the lipstick. Customers claim they have found hair and other objects in the lipstick. I highly suggest filing a complaint with the BBB if you received one of these contaminated lipsticks or if you sustained any form of injury from her products. So as we look down on the listing, we see the location of the business tied to Tampa, Florida. If you didn't know, Jacqueline resides in the state of Florida. However, the business is incorporated in Delaware. Keep this in mind as we will get back to why Jacqueline incorporated the business in Delaware as an LLC. What caught my eye is the section that says, Business Management, Mr. Eric Boyce, Member. I was really curious on who Eric Boyce is and what his affiliation to Jacqueline Cosmetics is. Firstly, I want to know what the role and responsibility of a business manager is. According to Crone.com, business managers are responsible for overseeing and supervising a company's activities and employees. Small businesses rely on business managers to keep workers aligned with the goals of the company. Business managers report to top executives in a larger organization, but in a small company, the manager might either own the company or report directly to the owner. This is something very interesting to think about. It goes on to say, Business managers oversee the day-to-day -day operations in large and small organizations or an individual department in a big company, such as marketing, sales, or production. They oversee the activities of workers, hire, train, and evaluate new employees, and ensure that a company or department is on track to meet its financial goals. Understandably, Jacqueline is a makeup artist, a creator, and an influencer. Jacqueline most likely doesn't have the knowledge or skills to manage a multi-million dollar business. Unless I'm mistaken, she doesn't hold an MBA or studied business in college. It doesn't mean you can't be a successful business owner without attending business school, but it is a challenge for anyone to run a seven-figure business. It isn't surprising she has a team of skilled businessmen and women who are in charge of the operational side of the business. But as noted, a business manager in a small company may even have ownership of the company. This is where Morphe may come into play with what is about to be revealed here. So, I found the LinkedIn page for who may be the Eric Boyce listed to the BBB profile for Jaclyn Cosmetics. In his summary, it says he has a proven track record of leading consumer product brands through dynamic phases, including startups, exponential growth, and turnarounds based on strategic planning and team building. Girl, I know this may sound boring to some of you, but stay with me here. I also found something very interesting on the website Zoom Info. On his contact page, it lists company, Morphe. This information was updated on 6-13-2019, so it is current as of only a week ago. 
Now, Morphe may contract a person such as Mr. Boyce to do consulting for their company. He may more realistically be employed directly by Morphe to deal on their operational side. But let's be real here. Jacqueline and Morphe have had a long-standing relationship, with Jacqueline bringing in substantial revenue over the years for Morphe. When Jacqueline began this process of developing her line years ago, would it be so out of the realm of possibility that Morphe would be involved? One theory I believe is a possibility is that Morphe bought the rights to Jacqueline Cosmetics, and Jacqueline is a creative consultant for a line, and also serves as a face for the brand. Morphe's role would be to put a team together to create Jacqueline Cosmetics and develop the cosmetics with the lab they contract. Or on the flip side, Jacqueline could well indeed be solely responsible for Jacqueline Cosmetics and is utilizing a business expert such as Mr. Boyce, who also happens to work with Morphe, to help her with her launch. We don't 100% know for sure, but it's interesting he is working with both Jacqueline Cosmetics as well as Morphe. Lastly, on the topic of refunds, I wanted to advise you guys to request a chargeback through your credit card as soon as possible, if you haven't done so already. Don't wait to go through customer service for Jacqueline Cosmetics and risk getting a partial refund. You will get the full refund, including shipping costs, via doing a chargeback with your credit card. Remember earlier though in the video when I mentioned the company is registered in Delaware? Well, given the scandal that is Jacqueline Cosmetics and her lipstick collection, there is a very high chance her company will fold and need to file bankruptcy. While I intend to do a more detailed and in-depth video on this if you guys are interested, I wanted to briefly share what will happen. If you didn't know, there are many benefits involved in having a company registered in Delaware, including being a tax haven. Also, you don't need to publicly disclose the name of your corporation's directors and shareholders, amongst many other benefits. One of the main advantages I wanted to share with you is asset protection against creditors. Delaware LLCs possess increased asset protection against creditors. This means that if a member of an LLC has a judgment filed against him or her, aka Jacqueline Hill, a creditor, aka those of you guys who have not been granted a refund or haven't gotten one by the time the bankruptcy is filed and are noted as a creditor, which is someone who has owed money from a company, you cannot attack the LLC nor acquire any portion of the LLC assets, aka the LLC being Jacqueline Cosmetics. This will protect Jacqueline herself and Jacqueline Cosmetics to avoid refunding any customers and to avoid repaying any vendors or others the company owes money to. I personally believe this will be the next step in development in the saga, as no one anticipated her line to be contaminated and would need to repay potentially millions of dollars back to customers. Bankruptcy protection would ensure Jacqueline and her company won't be financially devastated for life, so she can move on and not need to lose everything she has over this failed launch. So before things get to this stage, request your refund via a chargeback and don't get screwed over in case bankruptcy protection is filed. I'm really curious though to hear what you guys think. Do you believe Morphe owns or controls Jacqueline Cosmetics? Will Jacqueline Cosmetics file bankruptcy or be dissolved in the near future? I look forward to hearing your opinion in the comments section down below. I have multiple videos coming this week on Jacqueline Cosmetics, so please make sure to subscribe and hit that bell so you get notified on the latest breaking news. I want to hit 100,000 subscribers this year, so you right now watching this can help me make that happen by hitting that subscribe button. Again, my name is Steven Mango. Thank you so much for watching and joining me today, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye, guys. Jeffrey, people in the comment section of my videos said that Jacqueline Hill's contaminated lipstick should be the least of my problems when I open mouth kiss drama poodle. Yeah. Did you think they have a point? Are these the same people that think you're 35 years old? Apparently so. In some respect, they do have a point. I mean, some dogs go out and eat poo and so forth. These two don't, but you never know. And they're sniffing various and sundry excretory matter. I don't know what that means, but it doesn't sound good. Poo. Ew. Yeah. Though, maybe you would be well advised to at least not, you know, but the people that say that you use peanut butter, that's incorrect. There, there's no peanut butter 
or any, I'm here to tell you, there's no peanut butter treats being used when these two dogs uh, kiss uh, mango tea. Is that what we're calling you? Yeah. Yeah. They don't, in fact, come here, Hidalgo. Come here. Come on. Yeah, give me a kiss. See? No peanut butter. No test the theory with drama poodle. Come here, Penelope. Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. So there you have it. Hopefully they didn't stick their nose in any poo. <laughs>